Hello. Okay, I can't hear anything. So I'm well, going to hello. I just I just went off of mute. So okay, you can hear me. Weird. All right, let me restart. And let me put my video on. No. Okay. I'm going to pull this screen down here so it doesn't look like I'm looking up. I'm looking at you. Hi, Lisa. You're you're on mute. Sorry, still no luck. I still can't hear you for some reason. I'm going to try to join from my phone. See if I get a better chance with that. Be right okay. Now. All right. Hi, Marina. Hi, 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 hi. Dave. Probably no Cyantica because I, I, I believe she does not have any backlog items to work on, right? Okay. She gave you a heads up. Hmm? Did she give you a heads up? She said she wouldn't be. I sent her email, but uh, she never. Oh, no reply. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, just want to let you know that Nancy is going to join us later for some reason. Uh, she thought that it's the event is only tomorrow that we will combine. So she's going to join us a little bit later today. And we are still waiting for... Let me check how many people. We are still waiting for David. Lisa is going to get back. Uh, Anna. I think Anna is going to join a bit later, I mean, a few minutes later. Uh huh. Um, so you are here. Sylvia. And Whitney, unfortunately, she is in hospital. Hope everything is. Wow. Well. She okay? She did not say anything, just uh, the information that she is in the hospital. Okay. Hopefully it's just a physical like me. The other mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, I am back and I can hear you now. So. Welcome back, Lisa. Thanks. So we are waiting for Anna and for Sylvia. Anna is going to be a few minutes late. Nancy is going to be, I guess, like 20 minutes late, something like this, but she's going to join us. And uh, Sylvia. Yeah, how did this sprint go? Everything is well. How's everything with your new job? Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Let me. Sorry, I'm just trying to. We have you. Yes. Did you... Uh huh. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on my phone full of voice, and I'm on the laptop for <laughs> the video. Hi, Ava. Hey, welcome. Okay. So uh, I think we can uh, start and then uh, the rest of the people, they can join us and uh, answer on them questions. Okay. Congratulations with our short sprint, it's done. And uh, today we will gonna talk about um, anything the team wants to point out, which is unique for the team, what uh, have they done? And uh, anything what we can give a feedback on uh so let's follow the order which i already sent uh via zoom sylvia uh -huh. can you start please can anybody share a trio with us yeah it's good one of the uh members can or the team can bring it up if not, if not, um, if you guys have navigation problems, I'm, I'll be happy to bring it up. Can you sure. do it? Yeah, okay, I'll bring it up. Let's see. Um, it's my browser. So let me clear up my browser. Oh, someone already got it. Yeah, sorry, I'm muted. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, okay, so where do you want to start? Um, 
let's start with your team so which you guys complete which problems did you met and uh, let's discuss if you have any questions and we can provide any feedback and if you also uh, have a chance to put notes in trivial card uh, which you're responsible for it will be great yeah so i guess lisa um yeah. we're sort of dual role and product owner so the team fair to the team is as you guys present your 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 work item uh, mm -hmm. and the completeness um just drive through it and give us a high overview of what has been um completed and then um i think between lisa and me we'll give it a thumbs up and put it into the accepted file mm -hmm. um, i did a, a few uh, reviews of most of the content not everything but most of it and um so point out whatever you wish as uh as marina said and we'll, we'll listen carefully and um we'll go from there so uh thanks everybody for getting this far i appreciate it okay so uh I go think ahead and there's no one else in the line, right? I mean, to talk about the PBIs. It's only just me. In the yeah, so it looks like, what's I call, I know Whitney sent out a Slack message and she mentioned that um, there's some family medical emergency, so she won't be joining today. And then um, I think Marina mentioned earlier, Nancy will be late. Do we know if anyone else will be joining us today? Uh, Anna is going to be a few minutes late. It's say you just told us. As well. Okay. Oh yes, I see Anna. Sorry, you were yeah, below the fold, so I just saw Anna and April as well. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my pictures only showed like the first five or something. <laughs> so I now I'll see everyone. Okay, great. Yeah. So it's say a say a while if you were um if you want to start maybe just with your specific tickets and yeah. Yeah, so basically, so this is the PBI Anna and I took together. So it was about creating a volunteer info page in the website. And in addition to this, uh, we also have to link uh, the volunteer form to the info page. So mm -hmm. we basically, I mean, we started, we kicked off last week, right? As uh, uh, in parallel with the sprint. Um, mm -hmm. It was uh, pretty much running smooth, but we struggled with a, uh, you know, like the technical aspects of uh, not creating the page itself or not even, you know, like creating the form and so on. But um, as I was uh, linking the form to the uh, volunteer info page, I realized that, uh, you know, when submitting uh, test forms, I was not getting anything. Mm -hmm. So at that point, um, yeah, I tried, uh, you know, like really getting information on the website, you know, for, you know, like the root cause uh, analysis and really try finding a solution, but um, it was too technical, too complex for me. So I decided, I think I posted in uh, our standup uh, mm -hmm. the complexities that we were going through. Um, I connected with Matt and um, at that point, I understood that when Matt migrated the page, um, so the, what he did, um, there was missing a sort of, you know, like linking uh, any types of forms or, you know, like uh, people contacting the SVPM. Mm -hmm. uh, we will not be getting emails because the way he had migrated, uh, we had to set up another functionality, uh, install another plugin, and really create like a, a new email address with the domain name. Mm -hmm. So Matt uh, thought this was uh, too technical for me to give a go. So. Uh, he went ahead and created the uh, email with a domain name. And um, at that point, so uh, he gave me, you know, like really next steps. So a few uh, key information that I needed to set up a plugin in WordPress and so on. And yeah, when I got all that from Matt, um, so I basically went ahead, but, uh, finalized all the, you know, like um, the um, setting up. Mm -hmm. and uh, everything has started working out. So if you wanna, I'm not sure, Lisa, you had issues today uh, seeing what we did, um, mm -hmm. but I think you probably saw um, Donald's comment about- um, Yes, to... yeah, but I have to log in as a um, as an administrator to see it. Yeah, so sorry that I missed that aspect early on. 
Yeah, we didn't want to publish anything before, you know, approving it um, with the stakeholders. And uh, so basically this is um, the input page. Uh -huh. We put all the, um, how do you say, we listed all the information we have in your two presentations, Lisa. So we thought it was a lot of content uh, for someone willing to get like the information of what SVPM is and also, you know, like the volunteer team and so on. So we distilled all the information and we came up with uh, what we thought was the most relevant information. Mm -hmm. and we added some link for anyone who wants to uh, get additional information on what's the UGSS um, mm -hmm. extension. Then also in terms of, you know, if I keep scrolling down, so you see uh, the introduction to the Scream volunteer team. Mm -hmm. At this point, with, uh, we talk about the Scrum Agile team and again, mm -hmm. for anyone, uh, willing to get more information so uh, we link to uh, they can click on this link and go into a more detailed in, uh, page okay. uh, then with the scrum guide this is linked to the scrum or and then mm -hmm. describe briefly the agile workflow we gave an overview of uh, the theory so uh, what each uh, ceremony is about and then again, we linked into a much more detailed info page here mm -hmm. uh, explaining every single ceremony. Awesome. The last thing, it's actually the um, volunteer application form. And mm -hmm. at this point, um, so we kept basically uh, the fields that uh, were in that Google, the initial Google form. Yeah. So, um, basically, we didn't remove anything, you know, in terms of uh, the descriptions of uh, the volunteer opportunities because we thought this will be relevant for anyone willing to understand a bit more its role mm -hmm. and, you know, like how much will be the commitment, you know, the mm -hmm. hours commitment per month, and then really explain a bit more about the Scrum team, the sponsor. And um, so basically this is as it was the Google form. That uh, looks great. And yeah, so it's all working, the functionality mm -hmm. is there. And it's yeah. really getting your thumbs up. If you guys want to add anything in the content, we are happy to, you know, like really get your more suggestions or leave it as mm -hmm. a technical dev for the next sprint. So mm -hmm. it's, either ways we are fine. Uh, but yeah. if um, this is approved, then it will just only be for uh, the matter of uh, making it public. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Um, so I, I think from my end, I'm just referring back to the Trello ticket and as well as looking at the deaf loop. Sorry, I just realized my phone was far away. I'm sorry. So as I was saying, um, I just looked back at the Trello ticket and looked at the definition of done. And I think I'm per I'm really happy with obviously what has been accomplished. So on my end, I think that looks great. Um, Donald and David, do you have any feedback? Are there additional things you'd like to add or if we are happy for it to go live? Um, I give it a thumbs up. It's, it, it's ready to go live. It's really, really good. Matter of fact, I have a recruit that David knows about and I'm going to send him to this process and we'll, uh, awesome. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah so I think so yeah, go ahead, thumbs David. up. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up and go ahead. Uh, I already have uh, uh, one recruiter waiting because he couldn't see the uh, the uh, information, so he's waiting. He, he pinged me, and, and there's another uh, recruiter, another recruit that is online. So it's it's perfect. Done. Thumbs perfect. Up. That sounds live. great. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I think based on that, uh, we, are CEO, uh, we, are, we are ready to go live. Uh, thank you so much for you as well as Anna for working on this. I think what both of you have achieved is fantastic, and I'm really excited to have this page um, visible on the main website. Perfect. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Yay. All right, so I'm going to move it into accepted. I think I and, Oh, you already did. Yeah, sorry, you're right. You, you and, and now she's That's publishing it. <laughs> Yay! Immediately publishing it. So that is so exciting. Great. I'm looking on the menu. Oh my God, we see it. It looks great. I see on the website. Yay! That's <laughs> awesome. Real time. Yeah. But all around this. Yeah, it should all be in there. Very cool. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Trello. So, yes. who do you wanna go over now? Yeah, who, um, who would like to go next? I know so Sylvia's maybe, joined the call now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's gonna be Sylvia. Okay. 
Silvia? Silvia's on mute. So Silvia's currently muted. Uh huh. Oh, sure, I can go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, do I take control and uh, get into Trello and open it up? How does it work? Yeah, that's probably easiest. So um, yeah, easiest for you to demo and share a screen with us. Okay, I'm gonna have to get in. It just take me a minute. No problem. And while you're doing that, I wanted to give a shout out to April. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our sprint review meeting. Yeah. Yes. First sprint review meeting ever. Yay, yeah. awesome. Happy to have you. Uh, let's and Donald, I know I saw one of your um, comments, I think, on one of the tickets around where all the deliverables are published. So, um, yeah, if you just want to make a note of that and talk about it later, that will be after the review, assuming we'll have time. That will be awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. And also, while Sifio pulls that up, I want to say hi, everybody. Sorry, I was hi, late. Yes, hi, I'm going to be muted most of the time. There's a lot of noise going on here. But um, <laughs> I'm glad you all liked uh, what Sayo and I uh, finished off with the volunteer info page. Um, we, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great addition. Yeah. Yeah, and this will really help with the um, workflow of onboarding new volunteers as well, because obviously having that in a um, public-facing website, in the SVP website, will save a lot of the overhead of emails, right? So, so I think that part's mm -hmm. really, really, it's going to be amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm in, but mm -hmm. I just need to be able to share. Yeah. Just show menu. Change search card stickers or power up. How do I share, guys? So on the bottom of Zoom, there's a green button. It says share. It's right next to a list of participants. So if you are on in your Zoom window, there should be like a menu bar on the bottom. I'm in Trello. Oh, no, so, um, in, so if you're in Zoom, yeah. share your screen oh. in Zoom, and we should be able to see whatever's on your screen. Yeah, just one second. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you have to pull up the Zoom window from behind wherever you've blocked. The, you may have overlaid some other window on top of it. Right. Well, I actually... Um... Okay, here we go. That's uh, Trello. I'm sorry for holding everything up here. That's all right. That's no all right. Worries. So I'm not seeing Zoom, but I'm obviously in it. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, if let's see, so. Let's see, right now, if I share my screen, let's just see if this will share. Do you see my screen yeah. right now? I do. Okay, so let me go back to Zoom. Uh, where, oh, I guess Zoom is Zoom right now. Okay, so typically, if you're on your Zoom table, sorry, if you're in Zoom, you should see some menu bar toward the bottom for, because right now you are sharing my screen, so I can't see the menu bar. But if you open up Zoom, like the way I'm doing right now, there should be a menu towards the bottom here of your Zoom window that has a green share button. So I'm try again. Let me stop share, see if that works. Yeah, and if you notice that uh, blue and white icon on the bottom that uh, Lisa had, you can click on that and it should bring your, your, your Zoom window up, up on okay. top. Okay, so it just brought up one of the windows that shows everybody. Okay, and then uh, below there. To uh, okay, there's my share button. Yay, so yeah. share. I'm just pick Are you guys seeing anything? Um, yet. did you pick a screen? Yeah, pick a screen. There you go. I think now now it's saying it's started. 
Yeah. Screen sharing. There we go. Now we see it. All right. Yay. Awesome. Yeah, but again, no Trello's gone. So oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, am I in the right place here? I'm looking yeah. for the done. So scroll so. to the right, and you should see done if you scroll to the right. If I scroll to the right, okay. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Just getting used to all the tools. They're all muted. <laughs> That's right. all right. There's done. Okay. So accepted. And uh, there's. I don't see a done column. It's, it's right next to accepted oh, there it is. column. Had, uh, yep. Everybody's picture was on top of it. Sorry about mm -hmm. that. Okay. No problem. Uh, this is one right here. Yes. So open the Oh, that's weird. That just opened something else. Can you go back to Trello, the first tab? Uh -huh. There it goes. Is this oh, it? There you go. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, oh, okay. I'm on the phone as well. Update. Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, so, this is basically the whole idea of what we wanted and the definition of done. I want the actual document, so I can actually open up my document because I did move it in here. Is it just in a different place? Um, so did you have your document on Google Drive? Or, um, or did you save that? Yeah, it is on Google Drive. Um, okay. Actually, um, I dragged it into, into Trello under done. Is that, and um, then it's on my hard drive. Just scroll, scroll down and See, I, I don't know. Scroll down on here. Yeah, so if you scroll down, that's everything yeah. that's there. So as of right now, I don't really see a file attached to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a I file don't... attached to it. Okay. All right, let me open up mine real quick. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that will allow me to. Uh... There it is. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be sure to do that after again. That's fine. Just... Yeah. Um, Okay, so this is the document right here. Can everybody mm -hmm. see it? And yeah. so basically I gave the two links that I found this information from. Mm -hmm. And I start, one is a video uh, and it goes all the way, um, all the way through to about halfway point. And then, uh, then I picked up this, uh, this one here, which is actual WordPress place. You can look for help and stuff. So I start off with a tour of the dashboard. So there's several uh, screenshots and these are large screenshots because otherwise you're just seeing a little tiny picture of the different uh, breakdown of how the dashboard is broken down and then a, a, a talk about each part of the dashboard and how it works. So uh, going through the tour of the dashboard, we talk about it's broken up into the three sections, the toolbar at the top, the main navigation on the left, and the main working area. And the main working area is again broken up into four main areas. Talk about each of those areas and have screenshots as I talk about them going all the way through. And it sh I um, took the pertinent screenshots so that as they go through, they can see what I'm talking about. The hand will always be uh, on the item being discussed as we go through oh, cool. and it talks about the functionality mm -hmm. and the arrow will always be where um, on the item that we're discussing and it goes through talks about the different functionality how to return back to the dashboard which will come and go from different pieces of functionality very cool wow that's great it's, a, it's 24 pages, but it goes really fast and it teaches you really fast. Because mm -hmm. if you try to go through the video, I mean, it takes literally five to seven minutes to get through every video. Wow. Whereas it, yeah. it literally takes a minute to get through about half of this and another minute to get through the rest. So it's really fast, really comprehensive, really clear. Okay. So I'm just looking through, because um, I found your doc in Google Drive. So I did, I did see with most of the um, screenshots you have taken right now. I just want to clarify. Are most of the screenshots from a video tutorial you took or are the screenshots from the actual SVPM um, WordPress admin page? No. Um, so um, they were from a, a video okay. and from the um, WordPress website. Great. Both of okay. 
on to WordPress. Got it. And got it. WordPress is open source. It's open to everybody. There's no got copyright it. information. Uh, okay. Great. As long as we agree, because that's my understanding. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And I actually do see scrolling down to the bottom of your document that I think from page 27 onwards, I, I do see you did take screenshots of current SVPM dashboard. So I think yeah, that's, so I yeah, that's was, awesome. So what I did was after going through the training, mm -hmm. I wanted to show them what the back end looked like from WordPress and what it showed Perfect. on the front end. So Perfect. it gives them a, everything they've just learned, they can literally see in one snapshot. That's awesome. Very so, cool. uh, so as we go through, um, uh, again, talking more about the functionality, uh, and as you said, uh, probably unnecessary to continue to scroll through here. They understand the story. Mm -hmm. They understand how it works. Now we talk about posts and pages, the differences, mm -hmm. how to go about doing that. And then when we get to the very end, like, I, like we already said, um, they'll see what we've already done on, mm -hmm. in WordPress and how it translates and appears on the front end. And I can go there really quickly to show you guys that. Oh yeah. And hi everyone. What appears on the front end, uh, where's, where's what I was talking about? I think about. you're there. Yeah. I think yeah. you, I think so you passed it. What's funny is when you look at WordPress, it's literally just a small amount of information, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you look at the what WordPress puts out, it goes on for pages. Mm -hmm. And here we talked. Here I talked about. Um, forgot the name of it. I worked on Gutenberg, so I did go ahead and talk about Gutenberg just so that they know that there is this future thing on version WordPress version 5.0, but we're on classic. So okay. I let them know that we work on classic. We finally now talk about Word, uh, Gutenberg and just a little bit about all the different uh, options that it offers. Uh, okay. And, if, and also, um, if they wanted to go onto it, they could download it. If they wanted to stay on classic, how to get onto classic. That's then, great. I just wanted to show you guys, not to take too much more time, because I know it took a lot of time getting in here. This is the whole Gutenberg, you know, choices, uh, mm -hmm. the block sets and what they do. Um, and then. Yeah, this is great. So yeah, I think. All the information, yeah. Yeah, so I think kind of as we onboard new people, and for example, April, <laughs> if you decide to join the next sprint team, I think this will be a um, great kind of base document for the newcomers to work off on, especially right. if they haven't had experience with WordPress before. And then based right. on everyone's feedback and whatnot, we can continue to iterate on that ticket or open up a new ticket if people want to. Mm -hmm. add in addition so this becomes yeah. a living document right where as right. people stumble into new things um, for example with SEOA I think in the process of SEOA and Anna wanting to add that new page we learned about the plugin so that might mm -hmm. be valuable information to capture on this document or finding a way to capture that info going forward as well but I think this is a great piece of tutorial, like you said, to go from the high level, how to use WordPress, and finally drill down to, and this is what Silicon Valley project management's backend currently look like. And I think that connection is what the backend looks like, and then you mm -hmm. can see that it starts to show what that translates to in the front end. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool because it actually ties it all together. And what's nice, what I really liked is it took me a long time to do it, which is mm -hmm. the same amount of time somebody would take to try to learn this. Sure. And it Literally now, new people can learn it in five minutes. That's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, on my end, I'm happy. Google, it's fine, and everything, uh, it's definition of done is completed. Yep, I'm, I'm happy to accept it. Um, David, Daniel, do you have, uh, sorry, yeah. David and Donald, do you have any comments? No, I'm thinking we're going to have a backlog item uh, considering the Gutenberg upgrade, that's what I think we're going to have. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, yeah. but thank you very much. Very good. Very good. I, I accept. I ready to write Gutenberg when I called David to find out which one we were on. And so I stopped at that point. But if we decide to go ahead and do that, I have no problem um, adding to this document or creating a whole new uh, Gutenberg uh you know wordpress uh, right yeah so that's that's the way we grow no thank right. you that's great okay and um david do you have any comments 
Uh, thank you, Sylvia. This is a comprehensive, excellent, uh, perfect for anybody who wants, uh, you know, who joins us. Uh, it's excellent. This is well done. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. All right. So yeah, if you would like to move that into the accepted column, that's awesome. Okay. And um, I've already, I just created a ticket on the product backlog. All the new stuff I'm going to add all the way to the bottom. So right now I have a new ticket that's um, called Consider Upgrading WP to Gutenberg V5. Okay. Yeah, now um, you added one more element of the independence of the, of the self-governing Scrum team. They can educate themselves, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And hi everyone, Nancy joined. Hi, I joined Nancy. late because I thought it was the meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Welcome. Great to have you. Yes. Okay, great. So I think looking into the done section. So let's see. Sylvia, would you like to drag your ticket into accepted? Yeah, not, I'm only on phone, but um, the deliverables are in the sprint three folder. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I did basically, see that. when I started doing it, um, just to kind of give the overview of where things are at. Then it then it was updated for um, the sidebar for the volunteer names. But going through that, then we realized the process hadn't been documented. So mm -hmm. I ended up documenting that process Amazing. and then put a template there so that that's up for discussion to be able to propose to have like a consistent structure that we would do for like a how-to documentation mm -hmm. sure. so that then future volunteers will kind of know where to go to to kind of yep. find it because it's hard to kind of navigate that on the Google Drive right now. Definitely. So that's one for review to be able to walk through. And then the other task that I have there it kind of became two because I thought it was originally how to add a blog post. Mm -hmm. but, then when I, but then the description is really talking about adding it as an author profile page. Mm, so there's okay. two different ones, and so then it became kind of, so I'm fine with being able to continue it to take it on for like the next sprint. It'll carry over to that. It's not fully done, mm -hmm. but um, because of kind of creating the how-to documentation, it ended up taking more time finding all of that. Um, I didn't do all the research to, you know, there's some basics, and I did put part of that up there for how to add a post, but um, mm -hmm. if it's a prof if it's an author page, we need to do a little more research into that. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So I see. Um, based on this, I see right now. I think you added two additional tickets just to make sure I'm understanding. So um, currently in the block section, I think that's what you were talking about regarding creating a how to guide for author page. Is that correct? Right, that was what one of the tickets was that I took, but mm -hmm. yes. it became two items within one ticket. Got it. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so if that's the case, then I think I'm just looking through this. So I think what we can do, um, and I'd love to get your help on this, is we can, maybe if you can go ahead and create another ticket in the backlog, um, specifically with the actual creating the author page, but I think for the ticket that you're blocked on you've done the how-to part right so the tutorial and now it's just a follow-on item to actually create set pages i didn't create the tutorial i wasn't sure if i'm supposed to create the tutorial like oh, okay. it, or if it's supposed to be go out and look for one because and i hadn't done that research yet because there's quite a bit there you know Got that it. could be doing to okay. do it so um i guess in the grooming I didn't realize how much clarification needed it. Sure. For oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sorry. So I'm just referring to Google Drive right now. So just make sure everyone's on the same page. I'm going to paste this link into the chat. Okay. So I see that with the how to create an an author page on SVPM site that's currently marked as a draft, not final. And to your point, there's still questions around it, so it's not um, so it's not completed. So in that case, maybe for blocked if you can just let me see the comment yeah i think it will be good um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the blocked ticket so specifically around created 
WordPress how to guide for author page, I'm going to bring that back into the product backlog and kind of as a new okay. team as part of the sprint planning. Um, bas basically, someone can decide if, for example, if you, you stay on the team, if you decide to take on this again, then we can move it back into the sprint backlog. But for now, I'm going to throw it back into the major product backlog area. That's fine. Yeah, Marina okay. and I talked about it, and I wasn't sure where to put it because she did oh, yeah. see. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Okay, and then um, I'll touch base with you separately, but I think it would be great if you can just summarize um, kind of what, what you have done so far, for example, including a link to the draft that you have started, just so that come sprint planning time, whoever wants to take over that ticket will have kind of all the background info as well as the current progress for it. Would that work? To put that summary where? Um, in, in the comment section of that ticket. So, so right now with the card, okay. you can just add comments on the bottom. And I see you've added well, some put comments. comments in. So I guess just making sure what part's not clear. Got it. Because there were uh, some comments there. Let's, yes. So let me see. So for example, the link to the draft that you've created, that yeah, you know what? I'll touch base with you separately on this. Okay. I can take it offline. That may be easier because, yeah, I think I, I just need to suss it out and then I can touch base with you to sync up on that. Would that work? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Great. Okay, so looking at your other um, done ticket, so there's one which is update list of all current volunteers in WordPress. And I see with this one, um, for, for this ticket, I see that you've updated the current names on the website and obviously you've created a kind of a process documentation around how to add it. So would you so is that completed? So that one's that one's completed. Okay. But it is starting to get pretty so for a new ticket mm -hmm. that we may need is um the request was to for the next one is to be able to add technical advisors on it and mm -hmm. it's getting to be a long list to keep Got putting it. into a right navigation bar and mm -hmm. instead putting a link so it could go to a static page you know that we can update instead okay mm -hmm. good yeah okay so kind of a follow-on ticket that's now more thinking about how to clean that up so that it's um, limited amount of info visible on the front page of the website and everything else can be a link right Okay, great. Yep. Okay. I mean, Lisa, if you uh, talk to Dave a little about that, because that's exactly what we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Okay. Yeah. So, I think in that case, I'm ready to accept this ticket as it is in the current stage, and it's just a matter of creating a follow up for the next step. And, um, Donald and David, do you have any feedback for that? Can I yeah, go ahead, David. I'm trying to get back. <coughs> you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I was trying to get back to my. I'm. I'm connecting with my uh, mobile phone. My apology. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we've talked about it. Uh, thank you, Donald. Uh, and I. I had a brief uh, talk with Nancy regarding that. That what you've done is excellent, and uh, the follow-up ticket is uh, what we need to do and uh, follow up on that. Uh, as is, is excellent. Thank you very much, Nancy, for all your help. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do for those who can see my screen is I'm going to just, uh, let's see, I'm going to, can I do copy here? Yeah, I'm going to copy this ticket and I'm going to move it into um, volunteers. Cool. And then I'm just going to move this back into the product backlog. So now that's created as a copy and I'll clean that up afterward. But in the meantime, I'm moving that into the accepted section. Okay. Okay. And, and then see, I see you have two more tickets. Sorry, I know you're on the phone, so I wasn't sure if you can see my screen. So one of the tickets says create how to documentation to update list of volunteers in WordPress. And is that considered completed, right? Because you've created it. And I do see it in Google Drive. Right, because that, that's the how-to documentation. Okay, and then great. there's a template that is proposed so that we know, so that we can set, you know, a consistent structure. 
because mm -hmm. I'm sure with so many different volunteers coming on and off, we want to set what a structure is. Okay, so I think that's the next ticket, which is around proposal for review. Yeah, so a template for how to a folder and consolidated name in sidebar. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, proposal. Okay, so I'm going to move um, proposal. I think this will be a great discussion for the retrospective meeting, which I think currently is scheduled for tomorrow or yeah, tomorrow. So I think if you don't mind, it would be great if we can table that into the retrospective meeting because this is more around kind of best practice going forward, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to mark this for Sprint 3 Retro. And um, yeah, just Marina, if you can make a note to this, put this as part of the agenda. Yes, I will. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm moving this one to create how to. I'm just going to move it into accepting. And I think that's pretty much it's for Nancy. Thank you so much. This was fantastic. Thank you for for every for the work. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So I think two left and both are for Whitney. Well actually three um are for Whitney. I'm just gonna put this sorry. I'm just gonna put this here for now. Okay, so since Whitney's not on, Marina, do you have any um did do you have any updates from her or should we just table that for when Whitney gets a chance to jump on? No, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have any updates from her. Uh, she just recently let us know about the situation. Okay. Okay. No problem. So I think if that's the case, I'm going to, as far as for the review meeting today, right? We're just, um, this is where it is. Everyone who is on the call today, we were able to accept their work. And basically, we're just going to wait to get some update from Whitney after, you know, after she has some time, depending on how things go on her end. But besides that, I think, yeah, that was a very successful sprint. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Very good. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Tim. Yeah, this it's, was it's awesome. It's been awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and I think... Yeah, and I think as you can see from the labeling, we've really tackled, I think in the sprint, some fundamental kind of infrastructure and educational resources that will make onboarding future volunteers a smoother process um, between kind of educating WordPress materials as well as updating volunteer info. All of that is super helpful. So thank you for all your work. Very good. Thank Thank, Thank you, you once again, and just a quick reminder for tomorrow that we have our sprint retrospective at 11 a.m. A.m. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so just to confirm, so it's 11 a.m. tomorrow for the sprint retro. Hey, uh, this is Ayua before we, we finish. So mm -hmm. I will be able to make the retro tomorrow, but um, there was some feedback that, uh, I mean, there were a few things that I wanted to talk about. <coughs> So, uh, should I send my uh, comments by writing to Marina, or how should I do it? Yeah, Marina, how would you like to um, handle that? Would you like to start a running agenda, or how can how can the team give you feedback in advance of tomorrow? Uh, sorry, can you please repeat the question? I I didn't get it. Upon it. Yeah. So basically, the the thing is that tomorrow I can't attend the retro meeting. There are a few things that I wanted to, I mean, I wanted to give my feedback um, regarding, you know, like the, the PBI that I was running together with Anna. And I, um, yeah, so I was wondering, how do you want me to uh, um, give you this feedback? So do you want me to send you an email or uh, do you want me to post in the Slack? Uh, so yeah, I'm happy to go with uh, whatever is easier. Uh, let's post in the Slack. This way everyone can see it and... Uh... Okay, fine. Thank you so much. And this is Sylvia. Um, I just want to say that in my Google Calendar, every meeting shows an hour later. So for instance, tomorrow's oh. meeting shows at 12, even though it's at, uh, so I was waiting for two o'clock today to join this one. Uh, is it because of the time zone maybe that the person who set them up is in? Or how can we, is everybody seeing that same thing? Oh, no, this is Nancy. 
and I'm in the same time zone, and mine's correct, so you, you might need to check your Google Calendar to make sure the settings for your time zone is with Pacific. I will. Thank you. And what I will do, I will probably put in event details uh, next time, just uh, like as additional information at uh, that time. Yeah, so I'll check them in the morning so I know, because it's uh, not showing that. When it's uh, collapsed, it shows an hour ahead. Yeah, no problem. For, for, for reference, remind me. Yeah, for reference for setting up um, meetings, I know there's this time zone choice okay. that sometimes um, if you're setting a meeting, if you explicitly say Pacific time, then you can see that it's updated to Pacific okay. time. So I don't know if this is one of the reasons why um, maybe it's showing up differently on people's calendar. So kind of FYI, this might be something you have to set. Or another recommendation is. Um, to always include the time in the body of the message. So, for example, here we can add to say schedule meeting on Wednesday, right, September 25th at 11 a.m. PST, for example. So, in this way, even if the calendar math kind of doesn't sync up, um, maybe at least people can refer to the content of the calendar and make sure that we are all like, yeah, make sure time zone math is not part of the complication. <laughs> Okay, it will go and it will change for tomorrow. Yeah, so just Thank FYI. You. Yeah, okay, great. Any other qu questions, comments? Hey, Lisa, do we want to follow up with an open discussion on and get the input from the team on a, a common location to where now that we have documentation in the general sense, uh, I'd like to make it in a general location on the Google Drive for people to access. And yes. so uh, instead of being in the individual sprint uh, folders, we need to decide on a location. Maybe we can look at a backlog item or we can address it here. Either way sure. is good. Yeah, so I think one of the things I would like to recommend, um, Donald, are you able to attend a retro meeting tomorrow? Yeah, I can attend if I'm invited. I just, oh, I, I, I think you are. You, you've accepted. You're marked yes. as uh, attending here. <laughs> I, I accept everything automatically so okay yeah so i think um i think that's a great point about organization which kind of tied into nancy's point earlier around organization right so that's currently here about where to put things and for example what's the best place for how to guide and i know right now in you know, the way we have set up is we have different deliverables kind of stored on a per sprint basis, but going forward, I totally agree. There's probably better way to do this so that for any new volunteers onboarding, they can just come here instead of having to dig in, right? Instead of having to go to sprint deliverables and then find the extra thing. They should be able to just go to a how-to guide, for example, a how-to folder. So um, don't know if you can, please bring that to the retro meeting tomorrow and share that with the team and, and then collectively you know, decide on the action going forward, whether that be creating another ticket to address it or if um, someone wants to just set up actual folders within Google Drive. Excellent. Would that work? Thank you, Lisa. Great. Any more comments? All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you all for attending. And thank you, Marina, for sending the reminders and making sure everyone shows up for the review meeting. And at this point, I think I would love to give you some time back. So I think originally we'll schedule for an hour and a half, and we actually finished in 48 minutes. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for a great job. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you all. All right. See you at the retro meeting tomorrow. Yes, all right. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a good day. Bye. Bye.